Bon après-midi, tout le monde. On est live. Puis, wow, j'ai mis comme du baume à lèvres. Puis, comme mes lèvres leur sortent, c'est débile. Je suis cet après-midi dans ma cuisine, ma salle à manger. Euh, et je vous donne du contenu d'apprentissage, mesdames et messieurs. Uh, for those who are literally just joining for the first time, This video is meant for um, students who are in my class. But if you are a learner and you wish to work on your French skills, um, or you know some people who would like to work on their French skills, um, the resources and the content that I am offering basically is meant for learners who are of an intermediate level or advanced. Um, this is not a beginner's course in learning French, that's for sure. So I'm going to be taking peeks back and forth between my Zoom screen and my YouTube screen because I am technologically challenged that way. So, um, and also the delay, le décalage entre l'image Zoom puis l'image sur YouTube, c'est tout le temps un peu bizarre. It's, 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 it's really disconcerting to see myself like say the things that I said just like 15 seconds ago. It's like time travel, but you know, not. So, hey, no one is on. Great. Um, so I'm just going to continue doing this because this link will be available to all my students. Um, those who are listening, um, I'm going to start off by saying... Uh, the following of français no, en anglais. Um, you might have received or you may be on the verge of receiving an email from um, the school board and the school regarding online courses. Now, some of you who have collected your materials uh, from your locker this week, Uh, you probably said to some of the teachers who were in the building, have a nice summer. Um, I hate to break it to you. I hate to break it to you. But uh, <laughs> school's not over for you guys. Um, in theory, it's not over. I realize that many students have completely disconnected And we discussed this before, we, we, we spoke about this, how this situation has a lot of mental health impacts and some people have literally completely disconnected um, and others for a variety of reasons and notably many secondary five students have part-time jobs and they're considered essential workers, some SEC four students as well. Uh, so some of you, yeah, you, you're not focusing on school because you're focusing on work. Ça se comprend. However, theoretically, in accordance with the Quebec Education Act, you are still at school. Um, and, and in theory, you shouldn't be working. But that's another story altogether. Um, ça fait que you might be asked, you know, to do some classes, Um, I know it's not going to be mandatory, but um, if you are in a situation where maybe maybe it'd be a good thing, especially for things like math, sciences, peut-être pas pour le cours de français, je sais que je vais donner des cours virtuels, soit sur Zoom, soit sur YouTube, ça me dérange pas, I'm flexible that way, so um, be, be prepared to get some emails, you know, regarding this, regarding the matter. Um, teaching is still happening. That, that's what you need to know. So just to take a quick look. Hey, bonjour, Luca. Je sais que tu vas recevoir ce message-là dans quelques instants. Bonjour, Luca. Uh, envoie des messages à d'autres personnes pour leur dire d'écouter. So, um, qu'est-ce qu'on va faire aujourd'hui? Basically, je vais uh, faire le tour non seulement des ressources qui ont été données par le ministère. So, um, the stuff that you're going to see on, on the St. Thomas website. But uh, some of the stuff that I created for you guys that I'm not saying might be more fun, 
but might be more fun. Um, I, I mentioned it last week. When you're dealing with a crisis, when you're dealing with a situation that is very surreal, sometimes you don't want to like start doing big situational problems and you know the only thing that your brain can deal with is math reflex you know um ou des mots croisés puis ça c'est ce que je fais so without further ado i'm going to be sharing my screen with some of the stuff oh there we go um we're going to go well speaking of mots croisés this is basically what i created and i shared with my secondary threes um just a very basic crossword puzzle. Toutes les réponses commencent avec la lettre S. So if you are not one of my students and you're watching this video because you accidentally stumbled upon it and you said, what is this? Who is this person talking? You know, both in French and in English. Um, C'est un mot croisé. It's a crossword puzzle. All the answers start with letter S and your clues are over here. Print it out and there you go. You've got a crossword puzzle. And no, it's not one of those fancy crossword puzzles. If you don't have the right answer, you can click and it gets, the, no, 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 no. It's very basic, okay? Um, donc, il y a ça que j'ai créé. L'autre chose que j'ai créé, puis je vais le mettre sur Google Classroom. And once I'm done editing the video, what I will do is that I will create um, a link to this document to anyone who would like to use this. So it will be accessible by anyone who has the link. Ça s'appelle le Milly Melo, un jeu de mots sur Milly Melo. Milly Melo in French means all jumbled up, all mixed up. So it's a play on words because mo, mo means words. So um, this is basically a little activity on um, synonyms, antonyms, les champs lexicaux and les périphrases. And for my sec threes, this is going to look really familiar because you've done this in class with me. So um, if we take a verb or a word like créer, to create, synonyms are basically words that mean the same thing. Donc, tu peux avoir des choses comme inventer, produire, fabriquer, pondre. Pondre, not as in laying an egg, okay? But pondre as in to come up with an idea. Um, at the opposite spectrum of their meanings, you have les antonymes, donc les choses comme détruire, éliminer, démolir. Les mots de la même famille are basically words from the same root, the same family root of it. So, créer, you will have things like création, créativité, créatif, recréer, créateur. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Oh, no, no, I don't want to do that. Anyway, we're going to get the Sean Lake scan in a bit. I was too quick in my, my clicking. Um, synonyms and antonyms usually are of the same type of word. So if this is a verb, if we're asking you for a synonym, we're going to ask for another verb. Same thing for an antonym. If you want something opposite, it's going to be the same, the same type of word. Les mots de la même famille can be a noun of the same family root of the word. It could be an adjective. It could be an adverb, all right? Le champ lexical, think of le champ lexical as words that are related to the theme of create. So things like production, artiste, chef d'oeuvre, imagination, original. Now, these are examples. You could have a hundred words, part of le champ lexical. And then you have a little something else called une périphrase. A périphrase is like a synonym, but with many words. Une figure de style qui, de substitution qui consiste à remplacer un mot par sa définition ou par une expression plus longue. So, um, oh God, I've had the word last night. In English, it's either a periphrasis, and I'm not too sure how to pronounce it in English, or a circumlocution, which means a, a synonym with many words. So um, that's la périphrase. So the activity that is related to this, after I give an examples of la périphrase, you'll see is very straightforward. Um, the example of a périphrase, créer est très important pour un artiste, 
crée et sa façon de s'exprimer. So instead of being repetitive and redundant, which you need to avoid when you're writing sentences like in sec like three, four, and five, well, you replace crée par cet acte imaginatif. This, this is a, a périphrase. Invent, un inventeur trouve ses idées partout. L'inventeur s'inspire de tout. Instead of repeating inventeur, you know, where you could potentially lose points when it comes to a variety of vocabulary, you re replace it with ce génie créatif. Okay. And in this case, you can also talk about generic and specific terms. So for instance, you could say, un inventeur trouve ses idées partout, cet artiste s'inspire de tout, or un artiste trouve ses idées partout, ce peintre s'inspire de tout. Um, it's a, it's, another way of using synonyms by taking a very general term and then using the more specific ones or vice versa. You can also use les périphrases with verbs. Un artiste crée des œuvres uniques, il crée des pièces originales. So instead of always repeating créer, un artiste crée des œuvres uniques, il donne naissance à des pièces originales. So keep that in mind. Once again, this is these are tools to help you improve your writing, improve your skills. It's not like you're going to get quizzed on this. So the activity that I'm proposing at the end of this is basically take these three words, apprendre, oh my God, jouer, and naturel, find words that are part of their, la famille de mots, créer un champ lexical, des synonymes, des antonymes. Very straightforward. Um, and if you go ahead like further and you want to really go in depth I gave some extra extra work here All right just gonna go and take a quick sneak peek at the um at basically I'm gonna stop sharing for now I'm just gonna take a quick sneak peek at the uh, YouTube channel to see hey Michael's here bonjour and Laz is here Message was retracted. Qu'est-ce que tu as dit, Laz? Qu'est-ce que tu as dit? Mm, c'est pas gentil, ça. Um, non, non, c'est correct. Look, I mean, it's not like I'm, I'm, I'm looking for like a ton of, of, of different comments, but um, so yeah, so just to, to go over what I mentioned a bit earlier in case some people didn't hear or they caught half of it. Um, the work that is being proposed on the St. Thomas website by the ministry, by your teachers, nothing right now is being evaluated. Nothing is being assessed. Uh, however, as of May 19th, yeah, May 19th, um, yeah, because May 18th is the day off, May 19th, um, the work that will be proposed by teachers, um, there's a higher chance of it being evaluated, but we're still, we're planning on meeting. There's going to be an email, a formal email sent out by Madame Quatu to the entire school um, regarding this, um, but it's, it's clear. There will be online teaching. So, so wake up the friends and the buddies that are asleep, you know, at uh, 3 p.m. Uh, and tell them that maybe... Uh, you know, gaming until uh, 6 a.m. might not be a great idea. Just putting that out there. Um, theoretically, you're still supposed to be at school. So I took the opportunity today for fun because I had nothing else to do. Right. Um, I took the time to look at what the ministry was offering because, you know, I like throwing shade that way. No, I'm kidding. That's not very professional of me. No, I wanted to see what they were offering. I wanted to see um, more in depth what kind of work they were offering to you guys, what they felt was a good, you know, good activity for students. So instead of showing you the original documents, I, which I find a bit heavy and cumbersome, I kind of condensed everything in a Google slide that I will share. Share screen, there we go. Share, okay. And what I did is that I grouped it up per level. And, and I'm gonna explain more or less what they're asking you to do here. Uh, I will give you 
my opinion, perhaps, on how you can go about it. Um, obviously, when it's explained by by a teacher or by by someone you trust, it's it's always a bit easier to comprehend. So this week, this is what they're offering for Sec 3 French second language. So this is Francais de base. Une surprise pour. Cette semaine, je te propose d'écrire une lettre à ta mère, à ta grand-mère, à ta belle-mère ou une autre personne qui joue ce rôle dans ta vie. Now, correction here. When they say belle-mère here, we're not talking about mother-in-law, we're talking about a stepmom. Okay, little clarification to be done there. Okay, because like we're not assuming that a kid in sec three has a mother-in-law. If you do, I'm not judging. But there might be some questions to ask. Okay, so um, basically, they're asking you to watch these two videos. On écoute ces deux, ces deux vidéos là. Le premier vidéo, Petit Big Bang, je l'ai écouté. C'est très symbolique. Okay, don't expect like a you know a two minute trailer for the latest movie. It's very cutesy. It's very symbol laden. All right. Um, the other one, uh, video Catherine McKenna entre mère et ministre, it's really more straightforward. It's kind of like an interview. And then they kind of like, they're asking you, like, inspire yourself, inspire yourself from those videos. And there's another link here. I didn't, I didn't look at it, did I? No, I did not. Let's look at it now. Live, ensemble. What is this? What is, oh, God, okay, this was painted in 1886. Une mère et ses enfants à l'église. Okay. Oh, she's got three kids. Elle a trois enfants. Damn. Juste trois? En 1886? T'as juste trois enfants en 1886? Oh, girl. Pas bon, ça? Non, non, je taquine, c'est des blagues. Um, Okay, we can go into like, you know, artistic analysis, but I'm not, I'm not necessarily going to do that. Typically, ça me surprend pas que ce soit le garçon ici qui lit la Bible, okay? Because like, you know, good girls back then didn't read, okay? Bon, um, <laughs> mais on pourrait dire aussi, si on regarde le, le regard de la mère, ses pensifs, you know, she's she's not looking at her kids. She's looking in, you know, lost in space. So, of course, she's thinking, what do I have to make for dinner? Do I have enough food for the entire family? I mean, it's 1886. It's 1886. So, uh, you know, uh, what time is my husband going to be home? Is he going to be stopping by the tavern and taking a pint or two or three? I don't know. It's it. Okay, I'm being, I'm being very creative in my analysis here, okay? C'est, c'est évidemment, c'est pas ça que la femme, que, que l'artiste avait en tête, euh, Thérèse Schwartz, mais c'est des choses qu'on pourrait, qu'on pourrait interpréter. La femme qui regarde au loin, c'est une personne qui pense, c'est une personne qui réfléchit. Le, le petit garçon qui lit un livre, c'est très indicateur d'une, d'une personne qui qui va à l'école, mais la fille, elle, elle ne lit pas. Puis là, t'as le bébé ici, qui a probablement faim. So, to get back to the assignment at hand. So, they're asking you to look at all of this. Et là, tu écris. Tu écris une lettre. And that's it. <laughs> I'm, I'm saying... <laughs> Why don't you start... By saying, yo, tu vas écrire une lettre à ta mère, c'est la fête des mères. Non! Regarde, regarde cette vidéo-là. Regarde cette peinture-là. Regarde ce petit film. It's like, just go straight to the point, man. Écris une lettre à ta mère. Écris une lettre à ta mère. <rire> Sorry, excuse. Je devrais pas. Je devrais pas critiquer comme ça. Mais tu sais, Penses-tu qu'un élève de secondaire 3 va avoir cette profondeur-là? Non. Mais, mais peut-être. Écoute, si tu as cette profondeur-là, bravo. Mais c'est pas grave. Um, OK, ça, c'est pour secondaire 3. Tu écris une lettre à ta mère pour la fête des mères. Bravo. 
Secondaire 4. OK. Secondaire 4, c'est « Raconte-moi l'amitié ». Donc, ici, c'est j'ai pris ce travail-là du, euh, du travail proposé pour français langue maternelle. Because I'm not going to lie. The SEC for work en français langue seconde, c'était tellement plate. Premièrement, c'était de la poésie, puis comme honte. On a déjà fait la poésie cette année, on ne va pas la refaire encore. Um, so, j'ai pris ça de la page euh, français langue maternelle, langue d'enseignement, et on te demande, on te demande de repenser à tes amis, à ton amitié. Donc, ici, il y a des liens pour des articles. I'm going to be honest, I didn't read them. I didn't read them. So, um, what you're going to do, demande-toi ce qui serait intéressant de savoir et rédige entre 6 et 10 questions que tu pourrais poser à deux personnes, l'une jeune, l'autre âgée. Par exemple, il est essentiel de leur demander quelle est la définition de l'amitié à leur avis. Assure-toi de respecter la structure de la phrase interrogative. C'est le moment de réviser ta connaissance. Euh, avant de te lancer dans ton entrevue, assure-toi de bien préparer à la prise de notes. Donc, euh, c'est tout au sujet de la perception de l'amitié. Um, et c'est vrai, on, on comprend et on perçoit l'amitié différemment à différents âges. Okay? Donc, euh, ici, ça serait peut-être bien de, de, de soit faire l'entrevue en français, si tu trouves une personne qui parle euh, et qui est à l'aise de parler en français, mais aussi, tu pourrais tout simplement te limiter à, à, à transcrire les résultats de l'entrevue le, de sur papier. Okay? Secondaire 5. Secondaire 5, ce que j'ai fait, c'est que j'ai gardé le travail qui était proposé sur la page de français langue euh, seconde parce que ça touchait la poésie. And I know we were supposed to do a unit on poetry. Alors, j'ai dit pourquoi pas. And it sounds really cheesy, but it's cute, okay? Um, you have to trace your hand on a piece of paper. Nah. Okay. And then you have to listen to this awesome um, slam poetry thing. It's really, it's really nice. It's really nice. It's, 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 not, it's not too preachy. C'est bien. Puis c'est une fille de 19 ans en plus, okay? Donc, il faut que vous, vous écriviez dans chacun des doigts des idées qui vous ramènent à des souvenirs ou des histoires en lien avec ce doigt en particulier. Okay? Une histoire qui raconte comment cette main a touché ou tenu ou vécu quelque chose. Okay? Bon. Um, C'est un, un travail d'écriture libre. And when I teach poetry, you have to understand that poetry is not just like rhymes. Okay? Poetry is about images. Poetry is about um, creating a feeling creating an energy, creating a tone. Et ça, ça se fait pas nécessairement avec des rimes, mais avec le vocabulaire que vous choisissez, avec les structures que vous choisissez. Euh, probablement demain, quand on va avoir notre réunion Zoom pour les personnes qui vont être là, je vais en parler davantage. Je vais en parler davantage. Euh, C'est un bon exercice à faire qui n'a aucun lien nécessairement avec le texte argumentatif, le texte incitatif. But if you're not poet poetically inclined, okay, if this is not your cup of tea, and I get it, okay, la poésie, c'est pas pour tout le monde. You can do this assignment, mais vous le faites en français parce qu'on a notre cours d'éthique ensemble. Donc, Reflection on Social Norms, I talked about this. I talked about what was normal conformity versus obedience and uniformity. Um, and, and it's very interesting to see what norms what norms that we have today that will have to change because of the new normal, the new reality that uh, exists now with the, the confinement and, and um, the precautions that we need to take to avoid the transmission of germs and viruses. Donc, c'est... C'est un peu le travail que, uh, qui est proposé cette semaine. Et, you know, there's a lot of stuff on all the other pages. Heck, you can take like something from sec three 
or SEC2 or go on to Français Langue Maternelle and, and see what there is there. You can access it, I believe, through Fusion, I think. Because I go through my personal account and and yeah. Um, taking a quick look on uh, ye old YouTube to see if there are any specific questions. Hi, Sophia. I don't know if she's still there because uh, I was busy explaining. So I uh, I don't know if uh, if she's still there. Um, I, I, I'm going to say it again. And it's see. Je veux pas donner l'impression que je, je n'aime pas le travail que le ministère donne. Le travail qui est proposé, c'est bien, c'est du bon travail, euh, mais chaque personne travaille différemment. Et, et la raison pour laquelle nous sommes là, les professeurs, c'est parce que vous avez souvent besoin d'aide à interpréter le travail. C'est pas tout le monde qui est un travailleur autonome. A lot of you need your hand held, and that's okay. That's okay. You know, at every moment in our life, we need to have our hand held to tackle certain things, okay? Il y a des personnes qui sont pas confortables à faire du travail indépendant, puis c'est pour ça que je suis là. Donc, si vous voulez explorer les autres outils, explorer les autres unités qui sont proposées, uh, oh yeah, and by the way, I took a look at what was offered in Francais Langue d'enseignement for SEC 5. It's the same thing that was being offered in SEC 4. So I said, like, somebody was lazy or dropped the ball somewhere. I don't know. I don't know. Donc, um, faites ce que vous pouvez faire. Faites ce que vous pouvez faire. Faites ce que vous avez envie de faire. If you want to do crossword puzzles and you can't access them, tell me, I will send them to you. I will send you crossword puzzles. Because, like I said, sometimes your brain can only handle that. Just taking a quick look back again. No one, no one, no one. Bueller, Bueller. Alors, demain, lors de nos rencontres Zoom, je vais répondre plus précisément aux questions en lien avec les travaux. Euh, je vais aussi savoir si, euh, pas si, mais quelles sont vos intentions pour les cours virtuels. Je voudrais aussi savoir ce que vous aimeriez faire. And no, nothing is not an option. Just putting that out there. Um, je, veux, je veux créer des choses qui sont pertinent pour vous. My sec threes, we're probably going to do the music unit, you know, because I've got some like fun little videos uh, en français um, that we could watch and really something that can be engaging. Uh, puis on peut faire comme des groupes de discussion, des trucs comme ça. Cela étant dit, il est presque deux heures et demie. Je, je veux pas, je veux pas prolonger ça trop, trop. Je ne veux pas prolonger ça trop, trop. Euh, je veux préciser que si vous avez des questions pour d'autres travaux, si vous n'êtes pas sûr, si vous avez tout remis, like I said, my SEC fours are perhaps the only group that I'm not too, too worried about, uh, with maybe one or two little exceptions. OK. Um, mais mes secondaires 5 et mes secondaires 3, il y en a qui peut-être sont encore en train de compléter certains travaux et c'est correct. Dites-le moi, vous voulez me le remettre et, et, et je vais les accepter. Si vous avez des questions, vous savez où me rejoindre. On that note, folks, I am signing off. Ta!